Hey Miami Lakers, welcome to our daily COVID-19 update here in our community. I'm joined by our town manager and our special guest today, Miami Lakes resident Harry Wayne Casey. Casey from Casey and the Sunshine Band who's here with us. He has a special message for our community, uh, somebody who loves our town a lot and loves all of our residents. So uh, real quick, we're going to do our, our update of the day and then we'll, we'll pass it over to KC and then we'll get into questions and answers that you guys might have. Bienvenido, reciente aquí en nuestra comunidad. Estoy aquí con el administrador para pa el update del día, pero también tenemos un amigo de nosotros, eh, Harry Wayne Casey, KC of KC and the Sunshine Band is here with us today con un mensaje especial para nuestra comunidad. Mr. Manager. Yeah, I just wanted to start today by just uh, letting you know that we are still only at 43 cases. So the number has not changed in two days. And uh, it really has, we've only had two new cases in the last 10 days, which is an incredible feat. Uh, if you remember, uh, more than a week ago, we were averaging one to two new cases a day. And now we've only had two new cases in the last 10 days, which is great news. And it's a result of all the hard work and all the social distancing and facial coverings that all of our uh, town residents are doing. Para repetir en español, eh, le quería avisar que tenemos solamente otra vez 43 casos confirmados positivos aquí en la ciudad de Miami Lakes. No ha cambiado en dos días. Y, y para recordarles, solamente han habido dos casos nuevos en los últimos 10 días. Que es buenísima noticia para todos nosotros y es debido a todo el trabajo duro y todos los sacrificios que han hecho los residentes de Miami Lakes. Thank you, Miami Lakers, and remember that on Wednesday we'll be releasing the rules for reopening our parks. Uh, those rules are going to be released to us on Monday, uh, tomorrow or Tuesday by the county mayor, and we'll be disseminating that. We'll be looking at that. Uh, so we'll be working towards that. Y para repetir, el, el miércoles vamos a estar eh, dando los, las regulaciones para reabrir los parques. Mañana vamos a recibir esa información del condado. Nosotros vamos a trabajar con nuestro equipo para estar seguros que viene miércoles jueves, el administrador y el equipo de nosotros está listo para eso. And the discussions are still ongoing about opening up small shops and how that'll look, uh, wearing masks or not, you know, and how many folks can go inside and stuff. Uh, but with no further ado, and, and if you do have any questions, start putting them in. We'll stand on this, start putting them in. I want to introduce our good friend, Casey, Harry Wayne Casey, with a special message for the residents of our community. Hello, Miami Lakers. Uh, we're doing a great job here. We live in a great community. And uh, everyone, uh, it's, it's looking good for all of us. Uh, stay safe, and uh, let's just all keep doing what we're supposed to do, and, and we're all going to get through this. There is a light at the end of this tunnel. God bless each and every one of you. And, and the KC hit it on the head. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, it is so, so, so important to talk about that. There's hope. There's optimism. I think things are, are moving forward. Uh, Mr. Manager, quick question. Alejandro Cabrera wants to know, liquor stores in Miami Lakes are closing while others nearby, uh, the Navarro Shopping Center north of uh, of the Palmetto here are staying open. Do you know what's going on with that? I know our order allowed liquor stores to stay open. Yeah, if liquor stores are closing, that's uh, as a result of the individual business uh, owner's decision. Liquor stores are uh, an exempt uh, type of business under the uh, essential business order so they are allowed to be open so if they close that's their own individual uh, business owner decision uh, and I see some questions about hair salons eh, veo eh, eh, preguntas sobre la, los lugares los salons donde se hacen el pelo y se cortan el pelo eh, those discussions are ongoing uh, as to how that will look how, how we're going to open up I mean we're having it members of our economic development committee Eddie Blanco is on the, the new normal initiative on the county so those discussions are ongoing to do it in the right way, right? It's specifically getting the information from the scientists that are working on, on COVID-19 and to make sure that we do it the right way. So those discussions are ongoing. I foresee some of those recommendations at a very uh, uh, raw, a rough draft uh, phase will be coming out shortly, but those will be have to be massaged, have to be worked through. Parts are the first phase, and then you're gonna see salons and all that uh, going forward. Uh, I don't see any other questions. If you do, submit them now. Uh, si tiene más preguntas, ponlo ahora. Mr. Manager, any closing remarks? No, yeah, I just wanted to say, if you remember, the first time we started talking about the uh, parks, con the consideration of parks having a limited reopening, that was only about seven to ten days ago, right? So the county established the working groups that looked at parks, waterways, and golf courses, 
and when he when the when they put these working groups together, it was uh, within ten days that they are now starting to actually implement the recommendations. So the discussions for the first phase of the businesses, the limited reopening of some businesses, is all those discussions have already started. So I would expect that within seven to ten days, those discussions or the the, the, the actual implementation of those should be ready. So be patient. It's coming soon. Marta Barreras Gonzalez wants to know when are churches going to reopen? Cuando van a reabrir las iglesias? Esa es la pregunta de la señora Marta. Yeah. Uh, the Marta, the uh, Sahara Ricky, by the way, uh, the churches actually are also exempt, right? So the churches are allowed to be open. However, the recommendation from the CDC has been for large gatherings not to happen. So all of our churches in Miami Lakes have complied voluntarily with that uh, recommendation and that guidance from the medical professionals. So once we start to see uh, a little more easing of the restrictions, you're going to see that the churches will reopen. KC, you got a big fan that just wanted to say hi. Alejandro Cabrera says, hey, KC, get down tonight. Uh, <laughs> big, big fan. And I know that's, let me tell you, that's what KC's music does, right? It makes people happy. It gets people going. So... I don't know if you want to say hi to... Uh, hey, Alejandro. Nice nice to see you. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I'm sure you are. Not a hope, but I'm sure you are. And, uh, you know, uh, just hang in there. We're all hanging in there. Let me tell you, man, this guy behind me, he's probably uh, touring more than ever, so you can only imagine the amount of concerts you've had to put in the back burner. Right? Everything's on hold. I don't even think there are going to be any shows this year. Wow. That's what I, that's what I hear. So you can see that. I know you're working towards a, uh, a new CD in the, in the future. Yeah. Releasing yeah. them. Yeah. So that's great, great news. Let me see if we have any other questions. How about the pools in the condominiums, Mr. Manager? Right now, community pools and community spa uh, spaces in the communal areas, in uh, congregate living areas like apartment buildings and condos, those are still going to remain closed. We're taking the first baby step, which is going to be opening of the large parks for uh, casual and passive activities. So you're going to see that as, but you know, remember, we can't just flip a switch and all of a sudden it goes uh, from dark to day, right? I heard somebody this morning on one of the morning uh, news shows, uh, Dr. Uh, Birch from uh, the White House, she equated it to a dimmer. You don't just flip a switch and then all of a sudden it's light, right? You start uh, raising the dimmer and it starts getting light little by little. And that's the way the reopening of our economy and all of our uh, way of life is going to happen. Hey, so I know there's frustration because she's saying, hey, look, I'm paying for my monthly maintenance, yet I'm not able to use my uh, my common area. So we definitely uh, understand that. Uh, KC, another fan just wanted to say hi, Diane. She says, love you, Harry Wayne. KC, my mom used to drive me to your street so <laughs> that I could see you come home after your concerts. <laughs> hi, Diane. How are you? I don't know if your mom's still around, but give my love to her, and uh, I still live on the same street. Isn't that crazy? Awesome. <laughs> uh, Lillian Leon Gonzalez, how about restaurants? I know those discussions are ongoing. Restaurants are, are currently open for takeout, but what will it look like once they open their seating area? And I think that's part of the discussion, if it's half, if it's not, but those discussions are ongoing, and specifically, what we got to make sure that the scientists uh, are taking a look at that, the ones that are, are working on the COVID-19. I don't know if you've heard anything else about restaurants. No, obviously it's going to be different, right? What that different uh, look is going to be, we're not 100% sure yet, right? But at the beginning, once even restaurants or any small shops, there are, it's going to be different than it was before. So don't expect it to just all of a sudden be the same as it was before with packed uh, houses and packed restaurants. It is going to be different, but we are going to start taking steps towards the reopening of our economy soon. I expect that within the next uh, 10 days to two weeks at the, at the most. All right. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Uh, KC, Diane just responded. Yeah, my mom, uh, she she is. She's still around. And she says, and you were in my Atlantic City, uh, in Atlantic City on my roulette table on the year 2000 <laughs> when, I, when I got engaged. So, oh, wow. Congratulations. And I hope your marriage is doing well. <laughs> that is, that is amazing. Uh, movie theaters. Uh, what's going on movie theaters? I know we saw today uh, one of the theaters here locally had uh, had submitted for, uh, for for certain CMX that owns the movie theater on Main Street. I think it was Chapter 11, a reorganization. 
Uh, we saw that in the press today, but those discussions about theaters, I think that'll be one of the last phases. Yeah, for, for the reopening of businesses, it's gonna be by phase, similar to the parks and the leisure activities. So I doubt that uh, large con places that a lot of people congregate, like theaters, is gonna be early on in the whole process. It'll probably be phase two, three, in, so in one of the subsequent phases. So the lo, teatro de las películas todavía, eso, eso sí se va a demorar un poquitico. Yo sé que había uno eh, 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 movie theaters locales eh, donde están mirando re, la, la re, eh, restructuring, están mirando siete bancarrotas para ver cómo se salen de esto más fuerte. Uh, pero todavía estamos mirando eso bien cerca. Esther Gonzalez KC says, Hey, I love, love, love your music. Just want to say hi. I grew up with Esther. How are you? Uh, Mr. Manager, great question. Anyone wants to know, are they going to be guidelines for offices uh, for private companies? Yeah, uh, those offices uh, will probably be, especially small offices, they'll probably be at the front end of the uh, business reopening. But the, the rules and the restrictions and the guidelines for the reopening of businesses have not yet been established. So I don't want to get ahead of it and tell you it's going to be this way or the other way. So please, be patient. I hope and expect that within seven to ten days, we'll be able to hear uh, more about uh, how the phase in of the business is going to happen. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Uh, Mitzi wants to know what is the first phase, and I know the first phase is Wednesday when we reopen uh, our parks, but we need to get those guidelines from the county first, since the county order was the one that closed all 101 parks. Uh, in our community, so by Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, I hope that maybe between either tomorrow or Tuesday, we're going to be able to announce something, and then it'll go into effect Wednesday or Thursday. So hopefully we'll be able to announce what are going to be the rules and the uh, limitations and the restrictions for the limited reopening of our parks and our golf course. KC, just, they want to just tell you, you made their day, so I just saw one of the comments are here. <laughs> Uh, I don't see any other questions, comments. If you do, you know, we, we'll give you another 30 seconds before we log off. KC, any closing remarks for our entire community? No, I just want to just, just reiterate what a great community, community we have here in Miami Lakes and what a great city this is. And I have great neighbors and uh, we're just going to all stay safe and we're going to get through this. Once again, there is a light at the end of this tunnel and uh, we're all going to get there and uh, our businesses and everything will start reopening, you know, eventually here and um, we'll get back to, to some sort of the new normal. And um, let's just keep positive, have faith, and have hope, and uh, we'll get through this. Thank you, KC. I think you made an appearance talking about that. I think it means a lot to our residents. I mean, I just saw another comment here. Somebody says, hey, it's amazing that you're on there. They love your music. And I think, you know, listening to that type of music, especially during these times, helps folks, you know, get through the, these difficult times. Uh, so Miami Lakers, take care. Reach out to us, 305-364-6100-305-364-6100. Reach out to us for our manager. You see incredible residents at KC, everybody getting together, volunteers, staff, to make sure that we get through this. Uh, we are in this together, and together we will get through this. Take care, Miami Lakers. Call us. God bless, and have a safe week.